While many may have played Rockstar's action opus this past April on consoles, those who waited for the PC version get a few added features and conveniences. For the main single-player game, you'll still be controlling Nico Bellic, one of the most memorable video game characters in recent history, as he moves up through the criminal underworld of Liberty City and encounters a host of well-realized NPC characters. Like GTA games that came before, the game split between open-world exploration sections, running through story missions, and taking on side missions, and this time around there's a more realistic, mature tone. Main story missions adhere to structures that should be familiar to series veterans, with initial travel sequences, a conflict, and an escape, though the setups here tend to be more interesting and focused from those of games past. Controlling your character in GTA games has always been somewhat of an issue, something made easier with the PC version since the mouse and keyboard aiming is much more precise than using a gamepad. The option to use both is still there, which some players will appreciate since driving is actually better with a gamepad, and during play you're free to switch between the two devices. While actually in combat on foot, you'll find better controls here since there's a cover system that makes it a lot easier to be successful during firefights since you can blind fire and better protect yourself from incoming fire. Though missions and advancing the story are certainly entertaining, a lot of GTA's appeal is about witnessing and experiencing moments. Those unique experiences that arise from interacting with a virtual metropolis with its own traffic patterns and citizenry. With the PC version, you'll actually be able to save these moments by hitting the F2 key, which stores a short segment of gameplay. Using an in-game video editor, you can cut together different clips you've stored, add special filters and bits of text, change the play speed, alter camera angles, overlay music tracks, and more, which is definitely a nice option for keeping alive the memories of going on epic cop chases. Another element altered for the PC version is the multiplayer suite, which includes a wide range of modes from citywide free-for-alls to death matches, a variety of team-based games, races, and cooperative challenges. For the majority of the modes, the player limit has been bumped up to 32 players, meaning there'll be a whole lot more chaos going on online, and Rockstar's also added in a more convenient method of searching for matches. As with most PC versions of console games, you'll find some options for enhanced visuals with this one, though you're going to need a powerful system to get it running smoothly. We toned down the settings with a quad-core processor, GeForce 8800 video card, and 2 gigs of RAM and still ran into performance issues. Provided you've got the hardware, Liberty City is an amazing virtual space to explore, with realistic detail packed into every bit of the environment. The sound is another standout element, with an incredible amount of well-written and active dialogue, immersive ambient city sounds, and a great soundtrack. That being said, it's a long game, and you're likely to get tired of the soundtrack and sarcastic radio ads eventually. In the PC version, you can switch things up by tuning into Independence FM, a new radio station that'll play your music files if they're placed in the correct game directory. If you've never played GTA 4 before, this is a great version to jump in with, just as long as you're conscious of the hardware requirement element. It's a more streamlined, focused GTA entry that offers up more believable, rounded characters, and the opportunity to explore both professional and social elements of Nico's life. Combine that with the freedom of the open world, the significant multiplayer component, and the beautiful cityscape, and a number of tweaks by Rockstar to make the game world easier to navigate, and it's hard to be disappointed. For the full review, log on to IGN.com.